have me some extra toilet paper, please? Please? All right. Thank you. All right. Oh, how's it going, guys? My name is Family Shucks, and welcome back to another episode of Clash of Clans. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys some Enigmatic Fury replays. Fury is actually our feeder clan slash sister clan slash tryout clan of the main clan of Enigmatic Chaos. And I'm just showing you guys their wall log right now. They got it going pretty good for them. There were some rough wards in the beginning because it still was a very new clan. It is actually still a very new clan. We started this in March of this year, which was about four months ago, so it is still fairly new. Plus, they're almost close to level 5 clan, which is very beneficial, especially when you have lower town halls like Town Hall 8s or Town Hall 9s in the clan who can donate semi-max troops. But, needless to say, if you are interested in joining Enigmatic Fury, feel free to apply directly to the clan, as long as you are a Town Hall 8 or above with decently leveled heroes as well as decent knowledge of 3-star attacks. If not, we can help you improve on it. But in other news, the update dropped today as it was expected at the end of the month of June because we all know that Supercell takes off the entire month of July. So as of tomorrow or whenever Supercell takes off, I like to call this period until they come back the period of find an exploit you can and use that to the best of your abilities and use it as much as you can because we all know once people start finding out about an exploit that goes on in an update, Supercell will come back and fix it, and then you'll be there sitting alone in your corner saying, why didn't I use this at all, and why didn't I figure out this before? And it kind of reminds me of the time when the people started using gems, like there was a glitch with the gems. Like, even though you spent the gems, they didn't disappear from your possession, so you still had gems. So people just started to gem a bunch of things without spending a dime. But sadly, Supercell found out about it and rolled everyone else's accounts back. But for the time being, what is everyone's first impressions on the update? Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? I, like I said before, I like it. I'm looking forward to it. I know a handful of clans who are gemming their Dark Spell Factory in order to get the new spells in order to use it for their advantage in their clan wars. I have no doubt that the Elite War clans will be forcing their members to gem the Dark Spell Factories in order to get themselves a bigger boost in offense because we all know stars win wars or two stars win wars whatever three stars uh, it's all it's everyone's opinion now <laughs> because especially with that new addition of the leaf blower or the air sweeper at i think it comes in at town hall nine i do believe it comes in at town hall nine that's more town hall nines will be needing to up their game in order to combat that second air sweeper especially since there are such strategies such as la Lune, or Goho, which are most certainly the two main attack strategies that Town Hall 9s use in Clan Wars. And if you are a Lalooner who can't get past that second air sweeper, then you are completely fucked, especially since you cannot or are not experienced with Goho. But then again though, I would suspect that a lot or a majority of the Town Hall 9s are very ambidextrous with both attack strategies. If not, they always have one as their forte and one as their their eh, as I would quote Moltz, their eh, attack strategy. For me, I have yet to build my Dark Spell Factory, and that is not because I do not want this update, not at all. It is just because I do not have any loot right now. I am poor. Last night, I decided to spend my elixir and gold on my walls, so that left me without anything, without any loot or anything, before I went to bed and I woke up, update came out, I was like, oh shit update came out, I have no loot, and loot is so shit right now. Loot is so dry and barren right now that it makes Betty White's vagina look moist. Now, ugh, I just vomited a little bit, but let's just cut this analogy because that picture, I'm about to go eat dinner, so let's just stop that right there, yeah. Anywho, the update came out, I'm pretty excited, can't wait to see these new strategies pop up with these different types of spell combinations, and I know you guys can't wait too because hopefully I get some nice juicy replays. Anyways, that about sums it up for this episode, so if you're having a lovely day, and thank you guys all for watching, that doesn't make any sense, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, peace!